enlightenment, the depiction of dominance, the presentation of a tangible canvas, self-discovery, the elegance of madness, a small glimpse into Arthur Fleck's psyche and some of the more potent themes of this scene that highlight the gnawing transformation and enriching transcendence of a beaten down man arising to a greater state of being. We begin the scene with a long establishing shot, slowly tracking the frantic movement of a rattled Arthur Fleck. To the left, a momentary shadow is cast, first introducing us to Arthur in this scene, a shadow that now follows him after a life-changing revelation. Next, Arthur is depicted with a reverse shot at a low angle. Arthur is identified as the subject of the scene, and the stunted angle accentuates his dominance, a vast contrast to the way he has been presented before this moment. We cut to an eye-level reverse shot, as Arthur hastily turns to see if he's being followed, humanizing his paranoia for a moment, and bringing upon a sense of urgency and disarray. Another low-angle tracking shot, and Arthur hurls himself into a public restroom. The door is slammed shut, and the music ceases. This personal moment between Arthur is hyphenated through the transition to handheld filming and his inner thoughts are framed so that he's depicted at the far right of the screen with a medium long shot. This is a common composition for leading, foreshadowing that the looming mirror dominating the screen will be a subject of Arthur's interaction. We cut to an extreme close-up of Arthur's face, a heavy focus on his breathing and the flickering light above him. This lighting is recurrent during moments of distress and anxiety in the film, previously seen during the train sequence where he's confronted by three Wall Street men. The camera begins to pan across Arthur's body as a leap motif arises. The camera tilts down to his shoes, a focus on his eloquent movement. Shifting this distinction to Arthur's shoes allures a variety of variables, with the depiction of a shoe generally symbolizing authority and power whilst enabling a sense of servitude and enslavement. This aligns with Arthur's character during this moment, one that's overflowing with self-belief but still tethered to the confinement of society. The shoe is also representative of Arthur's dancing nature, mentioned as a staple for the character by director Todd Phillips, Arthur being a person with music in him. The dancing aspect of his character is one of the only nuances that remains as he transitions into an ulterior, murderous persona and can be viewed as a piece of the Joker personality that was already beginning to extrude from the Arthur Fleck guise. Notice Arthur roaming in and out of frame. The scene is painted as a stream of consciousness. He is not confined to the boundaries of the screen as he was in the outside environment. A few fleeting glances and finally we arrive at the previously foreshadowed encounter. A dirty shot of physical Arthur staring into the void of his reflection. Above the mirror, we see a two-headed light. The left is off, but the right remains lit. A wise man's heart inclines to the right, but the heart of a fool to the left. The Joker persona is Arthur's true form. <laughs>